This is Dr. Rabbit and Dr. Hi. Maria, Hi. and you can see they're in scrubs. They're really cute. Um, and you, they do what you could imagine. They fix the bears that come in. So um, our guests take the bears to the stores if they need to be fixed. And for those really emergency cases, if the stores just can't do it, they send them here to the bear hospital. I've seen them do face transplants. Um, I mean, they do amazing, amazing work. And uh, they repair about 1,500 to 2,000 bears a year out of this hospital. And we also do our find a bear program. So um, for, has everybody been to a build a bear before? Yeah, yeah. okay. So when we capture your information at the end in um, our find a bear program, if a bear is lost and returned us, we can return it back to the guest who it belongs to. And we return about 1,000 to 1,200 of those a year too. So oh. yeah, it's a very successful program. And they do a million other things here too, but, um, oh, you already mm -hmm. put everything up for me, thanks. And every bear goes home with a cute little doctor's note saying how well they did, why they were in the hospital. Um, they get a cute little t-shirt that says, I was hugged with love at Build-A-Bear Workshop Bear Repair Hospital. Aww. And then for the ones that get lost, they have um, a Berific Journey Home booklet. So, you know, they can they document their travels in a cute little, um, very happy to be home t-shirt. <laughs> so, anyway. so we can send in, like, if my daughter's uh, a stuffed toy, get broken or something, mm -hmm. we can send it here? Well, we prefer that you take it to the store first because our store associates are actually good with needle and thread. Oh, like, so they do that on the store too? Yeah, they absolutely want to do it at the store first to, uh, you know, prevent like over. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, like super time. extreme cases, like, like missing dogs. arms. Oh my goodness. Like um, dogs tend to attack oh, yeah. them and their yeah. entire noses and faces will be pulled off. Oh. So extreme cases get done here, but for yeah. the most part, the stores can handle like if it's just a hole or all of our um, grants and foundations, so the Build a Bear Workshop Foundation, um, the Bear Hugs Foundation. So when you buy like a kennel pal in our store, one of the dogs, part of the proceeds goes to help shelters across um, the country. Um, health and wellness for children, literacy, um, World Wildlife Fund, Nikki's Bear, uh, the breast cancer bear that we used to sell, all those proceeds, uh, part of the proceeds from every sale goes to uh, those charities. So, um, and then Jill and Sheena, of course, work with all of our media relations, um, events like this, um, and new store openings, all that good stuff. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, it was, absolutely. did you say 2,000 requests a month for oh, charitable? requests a month. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And you honor them we to the degree to that you can. We every single one of those. Right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Find that because it was the whole craze back then. They couldn't find what they wanted. I think they were doing it for donations and stuff. And Katie said, next thing, we can make these. And sure enough, that's where the idea came from, was just a little 10-year-old girl saying, we can make these bears. So um, they started doing all the research on it, and here you are today making your own Build-A-Bear. Um, so we used to have ones that were this big and ones that were this small. Does anybody remember this? Oh, years wow. ago? I don't know. It's pretty crazy because I get kids that come in here, and it's like, wow, we've been open since way before you were born. Now, <laughs> now a world without a Build-A-Bear workshop in it, which is pretty wild to me. Um, so we don't do this anymore, so all the kids can interchange all the clothes with all the animals. So yeah. keep them in between a set size and you don't have to buy three different sizes of clothes. Yeah, it makes it more friendly on the parents as well as us. Can you imagine? Then, I'd love a big huge bear like that. <laughs> this typically is the international wall. Um, it's kind of been moved over to here because the World Cup is going on right yeah. now <laughs> and the U.S. is yeah. in it. Woo! And then you also look at you have the chart and everything. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about our franchisees when we get to the international department. But um, we have over 400 stores worldwide. Um, we're corporate owned and operated in the U.S., Canada, U.K., France, Ireland, Puerto Rico, but everywhere else it's franchised. So we help them with their operations and marketing and product, but we don't run them. He was the first dog, and when Mill forgot him, he was a little puppy and thought he was a beagle mix. Turned out he had St. Bernard in him, and he weighs like 92. I think he's down to 92. He was at 98 pounds. He's on a diet. Yeah, but he's got his own business card. <laughs> Milford D. Kruger, chief dog. And where is Milford today? Um, he's just outdoors, oh. out a lot, traveling and stuff. So, Jamie said that Milford's yeah, actually a shareholder. Oh, he has his own stock exchange <laughs> certificate. <laughs> he gets his own PAW certificate. Like I said, we hand out PAW awards for each year you've been here. So he's going on year seven, I believe. <laughs> um, so he, um, you can tell when he's been in a meeting room, there's like white buds everywhere. <laughs> Well, it looks like he's, his bed's all fuzzy, so yeah. you, you wouldn't know that he's gone. Patient, sample room. You can see we have Disney up here. Um, we have partnerships with uh, Justice. We have partnerships with Skechers. Uh, Justice, you can buy the same outfit for your bear that you buy for yourself. Um, our dinos for the unique locations in the St. Louis Zoo. So, um, 
Clydesdale up there. We have partnerships with like Major League Baseball with the entire franchise and then um, specific teams with the NHL and race car drivers. Um, we're starting to do colleges now, so we carry their mascot on campus and oh, surrounding so perfect. their locations. Do you have, happen to have App State in North Carolina? I don't <laughs> know about that. I'm Maryland. sure you don't. It's a small <laughs> school. Is there an Iowa one someplace? You don't I sell from here, do you? No, these are so, so then these are samples of partnerships yeah, that you're like hoping. That we carry. Like um, not all of this stuff has hit stores, oh. and it may never. Right. But um, for the most part, 